emergency vehicles. Transportation between cities would be by monorail. The central dome will eventually house a cybernated complex, which serves as the brain and nervous system of the entire city. It projects a 3D virtual image of Earth using satellite communication systems which display information on weather, agriculture, transportation, and the operation of the whole city. This cybernated system will use environmental sensors to help maintain a balanced load economy, which avoids overruns and shortages. For example, in the agricultural belt, electronic probes monitor and maintain the soil conditions, water table, nutrients, and more. This method of electronic feedback can be applied to the entire city complex. With computers now able to process trillions of bits of information per second, they are vital for arriving at correct decisions for the management of these innovative cities. Some of the cities may be total enclosure systems, which are self-sufficient. These massive structures would contain residences, parks, recreation, entertainment, healthcare, educational facilities, and more. Everything built in these cities would be as near to a self-contained system as conditions allow. In these total enclosure arrangements, the skyscraper assures that more land is available for parks and wilderness preserves, while at the same time eliminating urban sprawl. Wherever possible, geothermal energy can be harnessed. Geothermal power offers the possibility of an abundant source of clean energy. This source alone could provide enough energy for the next thousand years. National transportation systems would include a network of waterways and canals. These bodies of water could minimize the threat of floods and droughts by diverting floodwaters to storage basins. In addition, these canals could supply water for irrigation, fish farms, and recreation. The canals can also be used for desalinization using a method of evaporative condensation. A network of tunnels could facilitate transportation of passengers and freight across the Sahara Desert to all the Arab nations free of the effects of sandstorms. These tunnels will be located 30 to 40 feet below the desert surface with ventilators every thousand feet. Water could be pumped from below the surface of the Sahara and transported to all the Arab nations. In some instances, ships could serve as floating automated plants, capable of processing raw materials into finished products while en route to their destinations. Huge ships and submarines, with many removable and interchangeable compartments, will carry freight across the oceans, rather than separate containers, an entire freight section can be automatically disengaged at the port. Bridge designs would be greatly simplified and bridges can be made corrosion resistant. They would be prefabricated and transported to the site by twin hulled catamarans. On some bridges, trains could be suspended beneath traffic lanes. Colonization of the oceans is one of the last frontiers remaining on Earth. Prodigious oceanic city communities will evolve as artificial islands, floating structures, undersea observatories, and more. These large marine structures are designed to explore the relatively untapped riches of the oceans and provide improved mariculture, freshwater production, energy, and mining. This could offset land-based shortages. They could also provide almost unlimited riches in pharmaceuticals, chemicals, fertilizers, minerals, oil, and natural gas. Ocean cities would be resistant to earthquakes and greatly relieve land-based population pressures. The population would vary from several hundred to many thousands. Underwater oceanic viewing and research facilities provide expansive panoramic observations of the undersea world in its natural habitat without disturbing the ocean environment. Unsinkable floating sea domes will attract those who prefer unique offshore or island living. In the event of inclement weather, they could easily be towed ashore, mounted, and anchored to elevated support structures. 
Mariculture and sea farming systems are used to cultivate and raise fish and other forms of marine life to help meet nutritional needs. These marine enclosures are designed as non-contaminating integral parts of the ocean environment. A true world's fair of the future will emphasize the contributions made by all nations toward advancing humanity. Although this fair will provide entertainment, its main function is to deepen understanding of the world we live in and the people who inhabit it. The architectural structures themselves will be jewels of future possibilities with a wide variety of exhibition buildings. Many of the displays will depict not what the future will be, but what it can be if we use science and technology with human and environmental concerns. It could be a vivid future showcase of the human potential. Videos, three-dimensional displays, and full-size dioramas will depict the fabulous advantages for all nations when working together to preserve the greatest gift we have, the resources and beauty of our planet Earth. In the final analysis, we are one people and share one planet. If you desire more information on any of the systems seen in this video, visit our website at www.thevenusproject.com.